Nick Farrow here with a lesson that will focus on a very complicated part of the English language, the difference in meaning between a and the. This lesson does not explain every point because that will be very confusing, but it focuses on some main principles to help your basic understanding. There are also many other questions around this area, such as when to use some or those, etc., and when to use nothing before the noun. These will be the focus of another lesson. Also, this lesson is rather long, so it is in two parts. If you get tired, take a break and come back later to finish. First, we need to check the special vocabulary we will be using. The following expressions will be explained with rather simple, not quite perfect, definitions. If you are not sure about any meanings, please stop the video and check in a bilingual dictionary. Now, starting on the left, appropriate means correct or okay for a situation. Definite is sure or fixed and indefinite is the opposite, general or not fixed. To refer to something is to talk about something we know, maybe something we just talked about. Probably you understand the expression to be familiar with something. We mean it is something that we know or know about. Next, noun phrase. It's like a noun but with two or more words, such as my dog or the tallest tree. Then we have determina, a set of words like this, some, or your, which come before a noun or a noun phrase. Determiners control the meaning of a noun. The my in my dog is a determiner. We have one more, pronoun. It is used instead of a noun. Examples are he and them. And finally, article, a or the. These also come at the front of a noun phrase and they are the main topic of this lesson. First, let's look at some examples of the English language and try to discover some rules or guidelines that will help to see why or how native speakers use these words. In the next slide, we will read a text or passage. You may need to pause the video to read it. Read it once to catch the meaning. And then look through to see when a and the are used. You may notice that the first few example texts are a little unnatural. Don't worry, this is to explain the main point. Things will become more natural later in the lesson. Pause to read everything.
you should be able to notice here that each new noun or noun phrase begins with the article a. When these are referred to again, that means when the reader or listener has already understood about them, the is used. And you can see the one example there. This is the key point. When the reader or listener is familiar with the topic or item, the can be used. We will study this point again later. In fact, this paragraph is not very natural because in English we use pronouns in place of nouns whenever the meaning is very clear. Let's have a look at another paragraph and see how this works. Please read. I'll wait. Okay. In this paragraph, we start with a noun phrase, a man, introducing new information. Then, a bar and a table and a waitress. But soon, a man becomes the man, the man we just talked about and the waitress becomes the waitress, etc., etc. Again, this paragraph seems unnatural. Let's look at it when we change some of the noun phrases to pronouns. Here we have highlighted the points where it would be good to use pronouns. And here, are the pronouns in place. Pronouns are not appropriate in every case. You may see that in the last sentence there are still some noun phrases using the article the. This helps to keep the meaning clear. And this is how it might look normally. Now, let's review why people choose a or the when talking about certain things. Our speaker, A, wants to tell something to our listener, B because he is introducing new information, A uses a plus noun phrase. So he passes on his information and B understands the message. Now A can use the plus noun phrase to continue talking about the same thing he just mentioned because he knows that B will know what he's talking about. In this way, the thing they are talking about has changed from an indefinite new topic to a definite topic. Are you confused? Maybe you can just go back and play this slide again. When A is talking to B, there are other ways he may signal 
that he is introducing a new topic. He could say to, such as in a sentence like, Two guys came to my house the other day. Some is also like a, but doesn't refer to one thing. It refers to more than one or something uncountable. For example, he might say, I bought some bananas and some milk today. Bananas are countable, but perhaps the number is not important. And milk is an uncountable noun. One means the same as a, but may be used to emphasize one of a group. For example, most of my students were good today, but one boy was sleeping in class. Again, these points will need to be studied in detail in a future lesson. Now let's look at the article the. It is used with definite topics, meaning the listener or reader will know what the speaker or writer is focusing on. It may be clearer if we compare it to some determiners that you will already know. Let's look at some of them. Now, in all of these phrases, B should already know what the speaker is talking about. Maybe A is pointing when he uses words like this or that or those. Look at those flowers. And when A says, my hands are cold, B has no problem understanding, right? In the same way, if I start to talk to you about my brother, although you did not know that I have a brother, you can instantly understand. There's no problem in communication. We both understand the topic. If A tells B about something belonging to Jim, then B should already know who Jim is. If B doesn't know Jim, then A would first have to say something like, I have a friend called Jim. Then he can continue. Let's see if we can see this working in another example. The next slide shows a recipe, how to make an omelette. Pause when the slide changes so you can read it first. Here you can see that all the items in the first paragraph are being introduced for the first time. A and some, indefinite, new information. In the second paragraph, now the phrases using the appear, because they were already introduced. The reader should be familiar with them. Then, at the end, you can see some new items being introduced. They are indefinite. However, we have no problem understanding the ideas. So, we can see 
in a written text how, generally, indefinite things become definite because both people, writer and reader, can understand the topic. Time for a break. Then let's please go on to part two, which will explain much more on this topic.